Hey there, Coastal Bend, Chris Thomason here. The Cal Allen Lady Cats are back in the softball state tournament for the second time in three seasons after missing out last year due to COVID-19. Teresa Lentz's team struggled a bit early in the season in non-district and tournament play, but also played a tougher schedule to get them ready to make a run in 31-4A and the playoffs. That move paid off with a perfect run through district and a dominant postseason push that included outscoring Red Hot Bernie 19-6 over two games in the region final. Lentz says her team not only has the fire to win for last year's squad, but also to help finish off the run at a title that started back in 2019. This time that we won this past round, it, it felt different. It felt different. It, it felt, it, it's almost like, I know everybody's saying, oh, we're unfinished because last year we didn't have a season, but it, you really feel like, okay, now we still have something to do. We're not done yet. We're not just excited to go to state like we were the first time. It was just the best feeling, I will say that. But this time it's like, okay, let's get to it. Who are we playing? What do we got to do? Let's get ready. Both of our state softball teams are taking on the top team in the state in their class as Cal Allen will face Iowa Park Thursday at 4 o'clock in the semifinal at the University of Texas's McCombs Field. The Bishop Lady Badgers are making their first ever appearance in Austin as they get set to face Emory Reigns, the 2019 state champs in Class 3A. That semifinal will be early 10 a.m. Wednesday with the winner onto the 3A championship game Thursday afternoon right before the Cal Allen.